little bit over four weeks ago, we started a standard process detoxification cleanse. And it was a 21 day program in which I lost 17 pounds. I put on this shirt at the time to show that this was the shirt that I wanted to be able to wear once I lost whatever weight I needed to lose. Now, I'm not quite where I want to be. Um, 17 pounds is a big jump, but I was obviously way overweight. Uh, as I said, stated earlier, a fat ass. <clears throat> so, I want to show the shirt. We're going to do some measurements just to kind of show you where we were to start with. After this, uh, we got Super Bowl weekend this weekend, so we're, we're probably going to be doing some splurging. But shortly after that, probably Monday or Tuesday, we're going to start a Visalis 90-day challenge uh, using the V-Shape Kit. This is a protein shake. It's probably the best protein shake I think I've ever had, ever. Now, I used it some last year, but not religiously enough. I have friends who have in 90 days lost 30-something pounds. There's no real rocket science behind what you're trying to do, which is replace calories by eating a shake versus a meal. We will talk about this some. We'll put some links on our page to kind of show you <clears throat> what it's all about. And if you want to contact me, I can get you in touch. But what we want to do is kind of go now, do some measuring after the cleanse, and then show in 90 days what I can do from this fire, or what we can do from this fire salad shake. Now, Jules, she lost probably five or six pounds. There wasn't a whole lot of weight for her to lose. She was not quite the fat ass I was, and still am for that matter. But anyway, so I've got my Amsterdam shirt on. It looks 10 times better than it did three weeks ago. 17 pounds is a ton. My back feels better. <clears throat> Pretty much feel better all the way around. I'm sleeping better. I'm eating healthier and I've sort of got a lifestyle change. So I'm going to walk out of this camera view, come back in, we're going to do some measuring. All right, guys, here we go. I'm going to start with, uh, I say we start with the chest, which was 47 and a half. So three inches off the waist, hips. Forty-four. Forty-seven. So three inches off the hips, three inches off the waist, three inches off the hips, and a ton off the chest, and then the head around here. No, we were doing it down here. Yeah. I'm trying to get my. Yeah, we're just trying to get my face. It doesn't matter. Twenty-one. 21, so the head was 24, so I lost a ton of weight here, a ton of weight here. Now, we'll be right back to check Jules. Chest is at 39, what's 40 and a quarter? 33 and a half. She was 36 and a half. Wow. Butt, hips. Forty on the hips. She was 41 and a half. So, as you can see, a bunch of inches came off during the cleanse, and uh, now we can just see before this 90-day challenge. See what I can do, Jules. I don't think she's got much more to go. But me, personally, I have quite a bit more. I would like to lose 10 more pounds, maybe 15 in the next 90 days. Thanks again for stopping by. Um, we're going to pop on and show you a shake here just in a minute just to show you how easy these things are to make, something to do in the mornings. But anyway, thanks again for stopping by. I'm just going to run through a quick shake. Uh, it's the Vi shake. I think I called it V earlier because it's by Salus. And uh, there, there's, you, you can make any kind of shake you want to. Some people use soy milk with their shakes. Some people um, use tang. I mean, it, it really doesn't matter what you do. I mean, some people pour this stuff in their coffee. So it really doesn't matter. But I'm a big fruit guy. So I've just got some frozen blueberries here. I'm going to pop in about a half a cup of these guys. Well, <laughs> so that didn't work out exactly like I wanted it to. But be careful with blueberries. We can put in more. Blueberries. Uh, Get blue shit all over the place, man. Your hands, everything. So, put in a couple blueberries. I, well, what would have should have amounted to half a cup. And then I like throwing a couple strawberries, sometimes a fresh banana. The reason I like frozen fruit is it keeps longer. 
and it's easier just to you know kind of pop in here. So we're gonna grind this up, put two scoops of this, and that's it. Then a couple little bit of ice, and I put water in here to start with. You know, I, I just lately water has felt better to me, so I probably put you know up to the top of the uh, of the blades of water in there. So anyway, um, we'll grind this thing up. We'll show you what it's all about, and go from there. Thanks. Alright guys, it's probably a little loud, but I just wanted to give you a view. There's no uh, method or madness for how much you're putting in. It's just a full scoop. They call this the shake mix that tastes like cake mix. And it every bit tastes like cake mix. Get a good color, good scoop coming in. We're going to throw some ice cubes in here, grind this thing up to make it more of a smoothie. And I don't know. I mean, it, it's, it's my favorite thing. I do this every morning because I can't stand eating breakfast. So to get something with this much protein and get my day started off right with this, it's just fantastic. Now the idea behind this is to replace a meal a day. They say if you replace a meal a day, you can lose anywhere from 12 to 15 pounds. Um, meaning you can do breakfast or whatever and again it's just calorie you know you're taking calories away and the other idea is that you would take if you do two meals a day you know you could lose 30 pounds it just depends on how big you are obviously my fat ass could probably use it but long and short of it is it costs less than what you would spend in a Bojangles or anything you're talking about adding maybe a buck fifty in this shake right now max two dollars so great breakfast and uh, we're just gonna grind this thing up drink it Thanks again for stopping by any old thing and uh, you know keep in touch with us on that. We got some more recipes to come and it's coming up soon. We're gonna be checking out some more restaurants. Thanks again guys.